Sören Lienkamp, University of Freiburg. Direct reprogramming of fibroblasts to renal tubule cells. All right, I'd like to talk about the kidney again and about how to regenerate kidney tissue. So a lot of people are thinking about this currently, and most use this approach sketched here of using a fibroblast, turn it into an used pluripotent cell, and then regenerate a kidney tissue from there. Well, this is quite difficult, and we tried to take a shortcut. We wanted to turn a fibroblast directly into a kidney cell. Well, this is called direct reprogramming, and it took us a while, but eventually we found four transcription factors that mediate um, the conversion of fibroblasts directly into what we call induced renal tubular epithelial cells, or short, IREX. These IREX have a very similar gene expression profile to their uh, native counterparts, and when we see them in 3D culture, they form these spheroids, and also on electron microscopy, they show striking similarities to real tubule cells. They very much look like tubule cells, but what they behave like tubule cells. Well, we tested this side by side with real tissue, with real kidneys, basically dissociated embryonic kidneys, mixed in our reprogrammed cells again, and then looked where these reprogrammed cells ended up in these organoids. And you can see that many of these um, reprogrammed cells ended up in tubular structure in these organoids. But are these cells able to form tubules all by themselves? Well, we used the recellularization technique introduced earlier. We completely washed out these adult kidneys of all living cells, so we're only left with the extracellular matrix, just an empty kidney scaffold. And there we introduced our IREX again, and they formed these long tubular structures like they would in a real normal kidney. Well, so far I've only shown you mouse cells, and you may ask, is this also possible to do with humans? And yes, indeed, we can reprogram -pro human fibroblasts, and they would also form these um, spheroids in 3D, 3D culture, and their gene expression profile is also very similar to human kidneys. So in the long term, we think that direct reprogramming is a very attractive approach, in particular in this age of personalized medicine, because we can use these fibroblasts directly from patients with inherited kidney diseases and um, develop novel and retro models for inherited kidney diseases. But also we think that they can be very useful for drug development. Um, we know that our IREX are highly sensitive to known nephrotoxic drugs that are commonly used in the clinic. So maybe in the future these could also be an approach <coughs> to test in preclinical studies um, for uh, side effects on the kidney before going into animal testing. Thank you for your attention.